welcome back to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo, episode number 87. The conversation I want to get into today are there real issues between Floyd Mayweather and Javante Tank Davis. I'm going to break it all down in this video, so stay tuned. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. So you guys know how I break my videos down into different rounds. So round one would be about, is there real issues between Floyd Mayweather and Javante Davis? Also in round two, what would Javante Tank Davis do without Mayweather? Or could he make it uh, without Mayweather? So let's jump into round one. So it, are there real issues? There could be real issues because Javante Tank Davis kind of lashed out on Twitter. Uh, maybe, I think maybe less than a year ago, maybe a year ago about Floyd Mayweather, him being unhappy about some of the fights that he, he's uh, been taking. Um, and I, I don't know if it's been any money disputes or anything like that, but uh, Javante Tank Davis is a rock star. Um, he's the one of the biggest names. I think uh, other than Canelo Alvarez, I think he's uh, a little bit up under Canelo Alvarez when it, um, when it comes down to star status. Uh, but, you know, could it be issues? I think so. Um, I, I don't really think that um, I, I think Mayweather he kind of look at his career and he try to put that off on Javante take that on Javante Tank Davis um, sometimes that can be aggravating especially when you're a grown man and you got your own name your own legacy to live for a lot of times that could come off as uh, arrogant on the part of Mayweather uh, you know a lot of times when you see Mayweather in a in an interview what I get from uh, Mayweather which sometimes he's he, I guess it's motivational it could be motivational um, from a standpoint but also it comes off as more arrogant and bragging about what you what you have done repeatedly and all the records that you have broken in the sport of boxing um one thing that that that's clear floyd mayweather name would never die um you know just the the, the brand that's behind the mayweather name <laughs> it's kind of a joke but it sounds like you know like bruce wayne like when you think of batman you know it's, it, it in the real world mayweather name would live on like that it would it would never die uh, but like I say, Javante Tank Davis is his own man, and I can see if you know it's like growing up with your dad or something like that. You want to live in the shadow of yourself, um, you know. Just if you got kids and stuff like that, you got you know, as especially as a dad with a son, you got to kind of learn how to just kind of just back off a little bit. Even I have to do that when my son go and and do his karate thing or whatever. But I have to learn how to like let him live and do what he want to do, and 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 make sure he's happy instead of me trying to force him into something that makes me happy. Uh, sometimes it's, it's kind of a balance because you you kind of want to push your kids and stuff like that. Not saying that Javante Tank Davis is anything to do uh, like a like a kid setting with Floyd Mayweather, like 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 he's sunning him or something like that. But I, I don't think Javante Tank Davis uh, would go for that. But you know, like I said, when you the comparison is when you have kids, you kind of you got to learn how to kind of kind of lean back a little bit, uh, you know, and let them do their thing. But Javante Tank Davis, like I say, he's I think he's making his own his own name because how much of a a superstar he is the knockout power that he has uh the style of fighting that he possesses the skill set that he has um you know he had that long before mayweather and i think that um him and his coach and his team you know they they, they know what tank is uh mayweather know what tank is but also there could be a ploy to sell tickets also with roller romero fight i think it's an interesting fight i think a lot of people will buy those uh tickets um it is a weird time um, with, with all markets, no matter if it's car market, uh, stock market, whatever, it's, it's just a weird time for everybody with the war and every all, all that stuff going on in Ukraine. It affects everybody, so a lot of people more focused on that or trying to save money because they don't know uh, what's going on, uh, what what's going to happen. So sometimes when you can't predict the future, you know, it could be it could be a lot of things, you know, for for bad ticket sales and stuff like that. But 
uh, I hope it all get resolved. I, you know, I like the more of the free agent thing. I don't know what Javante Tank Davis will do, but let's get into round two. So let's get into round two. Do Javante Tank Davis need Floyd Mayweather? Let's make it simple and clear. Um, you know, what would he do without Floyd Mayweather? I don't think he needs Floyd Mayweather. I think he'd be just fine without Floyd Mayweather as well because, it, you know, the talent that's, that's shown inside the ring by Tank Davis is, is phenomenal. I think that sells anytime that you can, you, you're a knockout artist like that, it sells tickets easy. And I think as long as he's with Al Heyman, um, I think he could he could fight anywhere. A lot of these guys are becoming free agents. I really like the way the sport of boxing is 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 going. Um, I, I think it reminds me of, of, of like the NFL, uh, NBA, and stuff like that. You know, a lot of times, even though they are technically not free agents, but they do have a lot of uh, you know stronghold on their career where they want to play. They can ask for uh, trades and stuff like that. But when you put it in the sport of boxing, becoming a free agent, you can fight on any network. You can fight any guy that you want to without all the, the middleman. And I think that Floyd, technically he is a middleman. I mean, he's not the one in there doing the work. He's not uh, going through training camp and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure uh, knowledge, knowledge wise, I think is, you know, he's, he's good to have around, but uh, Shakur Stevenson, he had an interview saying the reason why he did not sign with Floyd Mayweather, because you don't want to you know, I feel like when you're around Floyd, you know, you in his shadow because he was so great. Um, but I think that Tank Davis would be fine either way it goes. I would, you know, truthfully, this is just my own opinion. I think he'd be better as a free agent. Um, not to say that he has to have a lot of beef with Floyd Mayweather. I don't, you know, I, I don't think it's that, that bad. Um, but, you know, I don't really see Tank Davis really signing in my opinion. I think it's, like I said, as long as he got Al Heyman, Al Heyman has made a ton of fighters rich. Uh, I think he, you know, Al Heyman know what it takes to, to, to uh, make, a, uh, make a champion um, or create a champion. Um, not so much as like inside of the ring, but on the outside of the ring, like marketing and stuff like that. I always talk about the business of boxing and marketing. A lot of these guys have to be marketable for you to get the type of fights um, and also get the type of paydays too. But I think that Devontae Tank Davis really want to test himself against some of the best. And I think that Floyd Mayweather got him on a slow track. Uh, even though it's, it's a different day and age and, and boxing is treated so different. So I think that Floyd Mayweather kind of know what it takes to get to where you really want to go when it comes to money and uh, not so much as like earning belts and, and legacies like that. He's, he's trying to concentrate on uh, building Javante Tank Davis up as a star because if you if you do have somebody signed to a contract, you have to look at your own pockets too. And I think uh, the way, like I said in round one, man, the way that Floyd Mayweather come across is like, you know, look at me, look at me, look at me. And Javante Tank Davis may be taking that like, man, come on, man. Like, I'm, I'm the fighter right here. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm my own man, too. I want to I want to succeed and, and, and do other things. You know, he's got a, he got his own promotional company, too. And every fight that you see, he always have his uh, his promotional company behind every it seemed like every single fight. So Javante is in a really good position, I think, you know, from a um, advisory situation. He could use Floyd like that. But I wouldn't, you know, all these lengthy contracts the way you you are bound. Uh, I don't really, I don't really respect that no more. I think, this, like I say, nobody is really talking about this, but the sport of boxing is really changing beneath our feet, and um, I'm really loving what I'm seeing. A lot of these guys becoming free agents because we can get some of the bigger fights, and I think that you let, uh, well, not let him do anything, but he's able to get some of these bigger fights that he can go on and create his own legacy without Floyd, and he can live in his own shadow. Because I think as long as he signed with Floyd Mayweather, he will always be in the shadow of Floyd Mayweather. He will always have always have that attachment. I think if you want to get rid of that attachment, um, that you know sometimes it's just better to move on. You don't have to have uh, all the negativity to go along with it. I've cut a lot of guys, you know, from from business uh, things that you know that I that I do, but I did not. You know, it wasn't like a, a whole bunch of drama. Um, sometimes you just got to move on so you can strengthen your name on your own and not having somebody uh, always you always in the shadow of someone else but um i don't know i, I see him more coming to free agent but you guys let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below that's going to conclude another episode of big bear boxing combo episode number 87 you guys let me know what you think about this topic down in the comments below never forget to like share comment and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss out on upcoming videos on my channel with all that out of the way thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of big bear boxing combo